Hey everybody, it's Justin Adkins here from Just A Note by Justin, and today I have a fun cocktail hour themed birthday card to share with you. So for this project, I'm going to be using the Build-A-Drink add-on by Lawn Fawn, along with the Build-A-Drink die set and the Henry's ABC's die set as well. I'm also going to be using the So What's Going On paper in the mini pad, the Sunshine Smooth cardstock, and the Mixed Media paper pad in white as well. So let's get into a little bit of card making. To make my first crafty beverage, I'm gonna go ahead and use a piece of the mixed media cardstock, and I'm gonna blend some Distress Oxide ink in picked raspberry as the base for one of my drink colors. I'm then gonna go ahead and bring in the Distress Oxide in carved pumpkin and blend them close to each other and keep going back and forth between the two different blending tools in order to blend these two drinks into each other. Next, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to grab the Build-A-Drink die set and place the outline piece that has the whole image on top of my blended area. And I'm also going to use some other elements to die cut from the white area of the paper as well. I'm gonna grab my four inch mint tape and go ahead and get everything all situated in terms of die cutting different panels for this project. Now I'm going to go ahead and build up the outside of my drink and I'm going to blend some Salvage Patina Distress Oxide ink onto some mixed media paper in white. Using the outline die from the Build-A-Drink die set, I'm going to line it up so I just die cut the very top of that drink. I'm also using the squiggly line to die cut part of my beverage piece and this is going to allow me to be able to get this nicely looking like a beverage with that nice sort of beverage wave. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all die cut and then I'm going to go ahead and build up the next beverage. So I'm going to be using some squeezed lemonade along with some residue ink from my picked raspberry blender and I'm just going to kind of go back and forth and blend it with my foam tools adding a little bit more of that picked raspberry color so I have a nice warm beverage tone going on and then I'm going to go ahead and grab the build a drink cocktail add-on set. I'm going to use the solid outline piece so I can go ahead and get my beverage all ready to go and die cut and then I'm also going to use some of the whiter areas of the card panel to go ahead and die cut those white elements as well. Once again I am going ahead and tacking everything down with my mint tape and I'm going to go ahead and die cut this through my Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine. I needed a little bit more of that salvaged patina on white cardstock, so I've gone ahead, I've blended it onto the mixed media paper, and I'm also going to go ahead and tack down some of the cocktail add-on die cuts. You can see some ice cubes, you can see the little umbrella, and I'm going to use these all very shortly to put everything together. Now I'm going to incorporate that wavy piece once again so that we can go ahead and make this look even more like a beverage and get that all die cut out. I'm going to go ahead and use the Sunshine Smooth cardstock and pull three different colors from the panel. I'm going to be using the green, it's a very lime green panel. I'm going to be using a reddish pink panel and then a true to pink panel as well. And I'm laying out all the little die cuts that I'm going to be using both from the Build-A-Drink and Cocktail add-on set. And I'm going to go ahead and get these all die cut out. Now I am going to process this through my die cutting machine a couple of times because I want to get a good chunk of little die cut bits. So I'm using all of the different colored panels that I need. I do end up incorporating an orange as well. And now we're going to get into the portion where I'm going to do a little bit of ink blending. Using the newest distress color of Scorched Timber, I am going to use it to go ahead and blend the stems of my little cocktail umbrellas. And now we're going to go in and get some ink blending done and distressing the edges. So using that orange umbrella top, I'm going to use carved pumpkin distress ink just to make those edges of the umbrella a little bit darker. Now I'm going to go ahead and incorporate some of the mowed lawn distress ink so I can blend up the edges of a second umbrella top that I'm using. But this one's going to have more green, hence why I'm going to go ahead and use the mowed lawn distress ink. Now there are multiple green elements of my project, so I am going to use that mowed lawn distress ink on all of my little stems and my little leaves and my strawberry toppings as well. So you're just going to see me quickly blend through some of them and get them ready for those elements of my card. 
Once I'm done getting everything blended up with all of my mowed lawn color, I move on to festive berries. And I thought this would be a really good color to distress my little strawberry bits because I thought it would really bring out that nice pinky red color. And I did want to also go ahead, so you're going to see me blend up my second strawberry now. I have the cherries to blend up as well. I wanted those to be a little bit darker than the strawberries, so I thought it would be a really good idea to go ahead and pull in some lumber jack plaid distressing in order to give a color difference between the cherries and the strawberries so after i get my second oh there see i'm struggling a little bit to pick it up but there we go i'm going to go ahead and get it all blended up and then i've got all of my little berries ready to go now using my salvage patina distress oxide ink i'm going to go ahead and distress the edges of the outlines of my cups and i thought that this nice little salvage patina edge would give my cups a nice glass look even though i'm going to be using white paper it's nice to add that little bit of white to it now I'm also gonna use that Salvage Patina Oxide ink on all of my little ice cubes because I thought that this would also give the ice cubes a nice frigid feel to them with the use of the Salvage Patina color. So after I get them all situated, I'm gonna go ahead and use some water on the inside of my beverage panels and I'm just gonna flick some water onto them. Once I have my water into place, I'm going to pick it up with a microfiber craft towel and I'm gonna get those nice little bleach spots. Now I can move into the portion of assembling my little die cuts together. So I'm going to go ahead, just kind of go piece by piece, putting everything together. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my outline piece all ready with adhesive using my Misty Precision Glue Press. I'm going to press it into place, but before it dries, I am going to position my little umbrella to go inside of my cup and give a nice sort of overlap effect. Now I want to decorate the inside of my cocktail. So I'm going to use my little strawberry and some little leaves as well. I'm going to go ahead and press them into place and get a couple ice cubes added. So I'm just going to use my Misty Precision Glue Press, get them all nice and adhered, figure out where they're going to fit the best. And I've got one of my two cocktails ready to go. So now it's time, of course, to work on the second one. So I'm going to adhere my actual drink piece to the outline piece that's got the little bit of salvage patina on top. I'm going to get my second little umbrella ready to go. I'm going to add some adhesive to the outline piece for my cocktail and get everything all adhered with the body of my beverage. Once everything with that is put into place, however, before it is dried, I'm going to put my little umbrella in between some of the die cut pieces so it looks like it's nestled perfectly in my beverage see like how that little swoop just makes it look such like a cocktail oh, i love it and this is going to also use the cherry image as well i thought one image could have the strawberry this one could have the cherry i'm also using a it almost looks like a mint leaf in here in lieu of the sprigs and it's just going to make this cocktail stand out in comparison to the other one that we created I'm also only going to be putting two ice cubes in this. I thought two ice cubes would fit a lot nicer than if I tried to crowd three in there. And there we have it. So now we can move on to building our background of our card. So using the Sew What's Going On mini paper pad, I decided to use this yellow sewed pattern. And it's got these nice little stitched arches in there. And I thought it would be fun to use these simple stripes in portrait orientation die cut and die cut right out of this pattern from the Sew What's Going On paper pad. So once I've got all of my strips cut out from the piece of paper, I'm going to use some mustard seed distress ink to distress the edge of each of my strips of paper. Now this is a little bit of a tedious process and I didn't think that you needed to watch me do every single one of them. So I thought you could see me do the first and the last, as you can see my pile did magically build up between takes. And so I'm finishing up the last of my strips. And then after I have everything all ink blended with that, I'm gonna be able Able to begin building my background. I did grab a A2 size piece of mixed media paper to build my background with, so that's my base for this. And I'm going to be gluing each of these strips using my Misty Precision Glue Press to build my A2 sized card base. So this is gonna be nice and pushed into place. There you can see I magically fast forwarded again, and you can see me now putting my last strip all into place. And it's gonna make a perfectly A2 sized panel that's gonna be just such a pretty background for this card. 
card. I also think a slatted look where, uh, does look very nicely with tropical sorts of themed projects as well. And I thought what would make this even more fun is doing some ink splattering. So I'm using some picked raspberry distress oxide ink that I watered down. And I'm gonna go ahead and splatter that onto my card panel. It's gonna add some really nice interest and I think it's a really fun effect. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another piece of the mixed media paper, and I'm going to work on an ink ombre using Distress Oxide inks, starting with squeezed lemonade on top, and then a thinner layer of the carved pumpkin Distress Oxide ink. This one looks really splotchy, but don't worry. I'm gonna go ahead and fix it, and it's going to look perfect, working back and forth with the different ink blending tools. And we're gonna finish this off with the Picked Raspberry Distress Oxide ink. And it's really blending these colors together. I go back with the squeezed lemonade tool just to get a nice sort of seamless blend. And this is gonna help build our die cut sentiment of cheers. So using the Henry's ABC's die cut, I'm gonna go ahead and get all of my letters put into place. I thought it was really funny. It starts by saying share because I can only die cut one of the E's at a time. Um, so I'm going to die cut the C, the H, the E, the R, and the S from this panel. I'm going to pick up all the images and then decide I did want to do a little bit of the ink splattering as well with water. So I go ahead, I get it all splattered and bleached, and now it's ready to go through my die cutting machine. So I'm going to go ahead and process this through, but then I'm going to have to do it one more time so I can get my second E and I'm able to spell cheers. So I like to use the grid mat that I'm on in order to line up all of my die cut letters. So I'm kind of staggering the letters of cheers. I don't want them all in a straight line. I just kind of want them sort of a little loopy, a little, a little lopsided because I just think it adds to the fun whimsical effect. I'm gonna go ahead now and use one inch mint tape that is in my one inch mint tape dispenser. And I'm going to pick up my letters and use my Misty Precision glue press to put adhesive onto the back of each of these letters. This is a nice tip to keep in mind so you can keep all of your letters all lined up when putting it onto your card panel. So I've put it into place. Once it's exactly where I would like it to be, I pull in a longer acrylic block to hold my letters in place and remove the tape. I apply pressure with my acrylic block, but things haven't dried yet, so if I want to move them around very lightly, I can do so if it's not in my perfect uh, placement. Next, what I want to go ahead and do is I do want to get a sentiment stamp. So I'm using the Village Shop stamp set, and I'm using the sentiment that says, It's your birthday, and I'm putting it into my Rose Quartz Misty, and I'm stamping down my sentiment with some Festive Berries Distress Ink. So as you can see, I've got a really nice impression going, and my sentiment is going to read, Cheers, it's your birthday which is kind of like the perfect sentiment to use for your card. So I'm going to use my Misty Precision glue press for this final portion of my card to get each of my cocktails into place. And they're just gonna look so cute right next to each other, almost like they're clinking each other to actually send a cheers for your friend's birthday. I'm gonna put a couple more die cut pieces onto my panel just to decorate it a little bit. So I'm gonna put another strawberry into place. I've got a leaf sprig as well that I wanted to use. In addition to the sprig, I also have another cherry and another uh, leaf, like a mint leaf that I'm going to put into place. So here you see me layering those. I think they add a really nice die cut detailed effect that just adds some extra embellishment onto your card. Um, I always think that those little die cuts just really spruce up your projects nicely. Now, the last bit of embellishment that I'm going to do is I have some clear glitter enamel dots by one of my favorite enamel dot makers, which is Pink and Main, and I'm just applying them onto my card to add a little bit of final embellishment before it's all ready to go onto an A2 size card base. Now, don't forget, before you press down your enamel dots, you can always move them around if need be. But here you have it. We've got our card on our card base and we are all ready to send this off to a friend for their birthday. Thank you so very much for allowing me into your craft space today for some inspiration. Once again, my name is Justin Adkins. I'd love if you take a moment to like and subscribe over on my YouTube channel of Just a Note by Justin or follow me on Instagram as well. And as always, remember for free inspiration, fast shipping, and the best selection, scrapbook.com has you covered. Thank you once again and have a great day. Goodbye.